Like Jesus serving bread at the Last Supper, God takes us, breaks us, blesses us, and uses us. Our topic today, Brokenness. Luke 22 verse 42 Saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. That was Luke 22 verse 42. If your goal is to be used by God, don't be surprised when he permits seasons of adversity and brokenness. Jesus experienced it and he said, His servant is not greater than his master. John 15 verse 20 One Bible teacher points out, God's intent isn't to hurt us, but to expand our capacity to carry his love to a world in need of compassion. In the school of Christ, brokenness is a good thing. It's impossible to become intimate with God unless we are broken of independence, pride, and our insistence that our way is better than God's. Brokenness is the last stop before we finally confess, I can't, God can. It's Paul confessing, What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from this body of death? Romans 7.24 It's the prodigal son fighting with the pigs over food. Luke 15, 11 to 32 It's Joseph still in prison forgotten by the cupbearer. Genesis 40 verse 23 It's Jonah in the whale's belly confessing the consequences of running from God. Jonah 2 verses 1 to 9. It's Peter weeping bitterly outside Jesus' trial. Luke 22 verse 62. It's Jesus abandoning everything to God, praying, Father, not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22 verse 42. God, in his ruthless loving pursuit, will break us of pride, sin, folly, and independence. Matthew 21 verse 44. Like Jesus serving bread at the Last Supper, God takes us, breaks us, blesses us, and uses us. Are you going through a season of brokenness? Be encouraged. In God's kingdom, brokenness is the path to blessing. Watchman Nee puts it this way. To have God to do his own work through us, even once, is better than a lifetime of human striving. Thank God for the exposition and pray for an encounter with Jesus. Our meditation today is taken from Isaiah 64 verse 8. But now, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. For your Bible study, read Luke 13, Genesis 24 and Psalm 17. 